Stefano Caruso. 23 years of age and 26 years of age, respectively, these two. And uh, they go into this lying in sixth place, just ahead of the Japanese team. This is Tanya Kobe and Stefano Caruso. Grandiose opening through the twizzles with a lovely transition to the spin. Not a lot of ice coverage on the circular step sequence. Clever change of edge on the spread to create the momentum for the rotational lift. Yeah, not as fluid as some of the performances we've seen, but uh, nevertheless, a, a good effort from the German team. This is a team that last year split up uh, early in the year, and uh, come the summer, they decided to give it another go and got back together, and uh, really haven't looked back since then. They have competed in the uh, Bavarian Open, 
in Oberstdorf, where they finished in fourth place, and they got a bronze medal in the Andre Nepala Memorial this year too. Well, there's some good points, some uh, lovely highlights. One of the, the jump-in lifts, which was the, the long lift. Very good changes of position. And uh, Barbara Fuzzapoli, Rene Losser, and Martin scott Nicky, the, the team of coaches know exactly what's needed to tick all the boxes as far as the rules are concerned. But for me, there were elements where that there were gaps. The... Uh, and the music was a very grandiose at times. I'm not sure they completely captured it for me. The diagonal step sequence would have liked to see maybe a touch more difficulty in that. So there were parts where see, that's a, and another difficult hold position, very quick out. Yeah, the Japanese team are only half a point behind them. It just, well, I, it's going to be close, isn't I it? Think the Japanese, I, think. I, th I think um, Cathy and Chris's program was better than this as an overall yeah. concept and the way it was performed overall and came, and came across the, the lifts too. So I, I would have them them um, above Tanya and Stefano. You can I really mean, see technically they're behind. and They, prese they presented it as, a, uh, as well as they could, and it was good, but there were still elements in it that were a little open at times as well. Scores please for Tanya Kolb and Stefano Caruso. It is very, very close between these two, and uh, they go into second place, so they do drop a place in behind the Japanese team of Kathy and Chris Reed. So good news for the home skaters, bad news for the German team. They'll drop one place.